So what? So where are you at now? So DM Woods, you know, best-selling author, dating coach. Where are you at now in your personal vetting journey? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you uh, uh, looking for something casual? Are you like, you don't know, or are you not looking for anything, right? Those are the four <laughs> categories, okay? <laughs> so so where are you at I, right now? So this is where I'm at. After that situation, I got myself together. Okay. I went, I went through a state of depression, okay. no cap, because other things happen outside of that. And I talk Fair about enough. those things in my book okay. about what happened. And I got went it. into the state of depression on, all of these things happening, people trying to control my life and me not having control over it. And I said, you know what? Time out. I need to control myself. Yeah. I need to have some self-discipline. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to have sex until I find someone that is on my same frequency and a person that if they got pregnant tonight, it would be congratulations and not, oh my God. Seriously? Yeah, that's the wave. That's the wave I'm on right now. That's the yeah. wave. Yeah. So once I got on that wave, then I'm like, okay, cool. It's been a month. I haven't had sex. It's been two months. I haven't had sex. Told you. It's been three months. It's been six months. Oh, dang. I'm about to hit a year. Yeah. And my this whole, is after the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, this is after the vaccine. Look, <laughs> yes, it shifted my whole perspective because. I didn't know how much my mind was controlled by sex. Yeah. I didn't know just being on an app. I was swiping yes to women just because of one feature. Oh, she has big breasts. Oh, she has a big booty. Oh, she has big lips. Oh, yeah. I like this. Uh -huh. I like that. She uh -huh. looked good in here. And it'd be because it was thing. like the, is it the short, the, the short term attributes that are only good for like an experience, but doesn't serve you for the duration of your life. Yeah. And if, they, and if she got pregnant, it would be like, oh, my God, what happened? Oh, God, my kids are going to have big lips. <laughs> you have to protect my daughter for the rest of my life. <laughs> Listen, uh, all right. So, again, answer my question. What are you looking for now? So now I have zeroed in on what I'm looking for. I know how to date with a purpose. I know how to vet. I'm looking for that. Okay. That's something that is definitely a focus. However, based on where I am and the gifts that I've been focused on, that right now is taking that priority. So what, what's taking a priority? Makes, where I am. So literally, I've been downloaded with this gift that is helping singles okay. left and right. So, so you're saying you're not I'm so you're saying you're not you're not looking for you're not looking for a relationship. Oh, I'm right looking. Now. I'm looking, okay, but I know exactly what I'm looking for. So until I find that, I'm not entertaining anything else. Got it. So what are some qualities? So I'm actively looking. What are some qualities you're looking for in a woman that you can't seem to find? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> I need someone that's aligned with where I am. What does now, that mean? Now, for the longest, I struggled. I struggled with dating a woman with kids. Because my mom was a single mom. Mm. I value my kids having the same parents mm. under the same roof where we don't have to separate for holidays. That's something uh, that I have to experience as a kid. I no longer want to have that interaction. I want to do it the right way, quote unquote, the right way. Got it. To be an example for that next generation. So that is one aspect that's out there. You saying right. that's something you struggle to find right no, now? You can find you can find a woman without kids, but then is she also aligned with what you where you are? I want a woman that I can align with at the same time on the frequency that I am in terms of helping people. I want a woman that can is a giver where either it's a a um, through her 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 ministry, um, through her gift, through her purpose she gives to others. Some people are not on that wavelength. Okay. okay. Their emotional awareness is not there. It's more about self or survival. God knows I don't want that frequency. So you, you, you want to, you want to give her without kids. Philanthropist without kids. You want a philanthropist without kids. That's very specific. 
Philanthropy. Um, what else? Philanthropy. Um, another aspect that is very, very important to me is education. I want a person that values education the way I value education. So you want an educated woman who is a philanthropist that has no kids. Are those, are the, are those the top three things? Oh, I, I'll give you another one. I'll okay. give you another one. I want a woman that has a Christian base, but she's also spiritual. That's that's a little bit more challenging. What does that even mean? Okay, so the base as as a Christian, her base is a Christian. She's a Christian. Her base, but certain Christian certain Christians don't believe in meditation and chakras and energy balancing because that would be on the witchcraft side. <laughs> certain Christians call that witchcraft. Those are very specific. It's very specific. Okay, so so those are your top four things. Let's say that's the top four. That's the top four thing, right? Or is everything else negotiable? No, I my my <laughs> that, no, are no, not no, no. <laughs> you can you do you you want you. Uh, I understand the I understand a dating market clearer than I've ever understood it before. Yeah. So as a man, and I had to, I had to digest this because it, it took some time. As a man, we have a little bit more time. So you're, you have a, a attraction level as a guy. Most guys don't hit that attraction level. The peak? Until about 40. Yeah, that peak. Until about 40, 45. All right. Makes sense. So I'm in the gym, I baby. Can wait, <laughs> hear, hear me, hear me out on this though, because I I had to embrace, I had to let go of my lack mindset. I had to to let go of that limiting mindset of damn, I will never find that. Versus, because you did, because you waited, dated all of them already. <laughs> no, <laughs> I had to. Out. Even even if I even if it took me ten years. Okay. That's where I'm at now. If it took me 10 years, I'm still not 45. Listen, that that's 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 a great thing to come to that conclusion about yourself and like you had a very dynamic dynamic experience to bring you to this point like between the story of like the wedding, right? The I guess whoring yourself in these streets. Uh, and then being like a like a, a sex monster to now like you know coming to a point where you can have a pointed idea of where you want to go. Although the things that you say you're looking for kind of reinforces the fact that like people's needs are so specific that it creates this this barrier to finding like the person that they want to be with because there's a lot of qualities that vary between people that the specificity yeah. and sometimes some of the things you're looking for could contradict each other. Because sometimes mm -hmm. like people who are extremely educated might not be the most religious. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Things like that. And, and, and people who are educated are probably like busy having careers and they're not that much of a philanthropist. Like there's just a lot of things. And I, and I, and I experienced that too. So I'm not just like picking on what you're talking about. I have my own demons, right? Um, but like I can, I can agree with where, why you're where you're at. Because I kind of had a similar path. I didn't end the wedding, but uh, I, 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 I kind of had a similar path. So I completely understand that. And I hope that like that experience um, continues to reinforce, I guess, the passion for why you want people to vet. Because what you yeah. had to go through was a lot for everyone to have, ha for everyone who doesn't have to go through that to go through that. So I, I commend you for taking a path to like coaching people and, and, bringing them to that place.